Welcome to the N-Bar Ranch, snuggled into the pine-covered hills of the Gila National Forest in western New Mexico. Hi, I'm Jennifer Reynolds. If you've ever thought you were born a hundred years too late, stay tuned. We're going to spend a week at this guest ranch where you can live out your dreams of being a lawman from the Old West or an outlaw. This week, America's Horse enters the world of reality TV. The rules are simple. It's two teams, the outlaws and the posse. They're going head to head to see who can solve the riddles and find the most loot while they rack up the most kills. The game is played on horseback and spans more than 125 square miles of spectacular wilderness. Will the teams work together or will they fall apart under the stress of the wild, wild west? It's Posse Week, up next on America's Horse. America's Horse, the international report on the world's most versatile equine breed, the American Quarter Horse. So we're ready to go. The players are all here. The weather is perfect. Let's get this adventure called Posse Week going. This ain't no dude ranch. We're on a real working cattle ranch in southwestern New Mexico. Every summer, people from all over the country and the world travel here to the Enbar Ranch and play the ultimate game of good guys versus bad guys in the beautiful New Mexico wilderness. The week begins with a warm and friendly campfire where people get to know one another. The guests at the Enbar this week include everything from an insurance man, emergency room nurses, and a teacher to an exterminator, police officer, and a naval officer. Horse riding experience is indeed helpful, so on the first morning at the ranch, everybody's matched up with a horse based on experience. They're also given a refresher on horse safety and saddling, and then we hit the backcountry for a warm-up ride. They did awesome. Oh, yeah. Did really good. We took a little break. I made them learn how to tie their horses up to the trees, and they were just super. It was like bonanza. I learned how to hear a bird's the sound of a bird's wings. That's, there's no, no sounds out there, except you and the horse. And... I thought I knew how to horseback ride, and I just learned a lot. Not too sore yet after only a four-hour ride, so we'll see how the rest of the week goes. Then the paint starts flying. We're given instructions on how to use our weapon. It's a paintball gun. And in this game, people and horse safety come first. All participants must wear a helmet whenever the enemy is near. You also never shoot from your horse. To engage an enemy, you have to dismount and safely tie up your horse at least 50 yards from where you'll be firing. So we all head down to the practice grounds, which are affectionately referred to as the killing field. The makings of the grudges for the week start right here. There we get to practice shooting and getting hit. Let me tell you, at this point, I am much better at getting hit. Once in the hip, once in the neck, I'm gone. Okay, let's get this game started. But first, let me formally introduce you to the odds-on favorite team to win the week. The Good Guys, my team, known the most as Hi, I'm Samantha Wilson, and I'm from Perkins, Oklahoma. My name is John Cloyd. I'm originally from Riverside, Iowa. I'm Julie Boyette. I'm from Kearney, Oklahoma. I'm Andy Kroop from Atlanta, Georgia. Hi, I'm Ken Grant from San Diego, California. I'm Lee Bowser from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Hi, I'm Nina Bonaiuto from Santa Fe. And I'm Jennifer Reynolds from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. So that's my team, but there's also a very familiar face out here, a man I've been waiting to get a clean shot at for quite some time now. Hi, I'm Paul Alexander, and this week I'm on the wrong side of the law. I'm part of the outlaw team. You know, they call us outlaws, but really, we're just misunderstood. But right now, I want you to meet the toughest, roughest, meanest, orniest group of paintball pumping people that ever breathed the breath of 8,000 foot New Mexico air, the outlaws. I'm Andre Emler from Dayton, Ohio. I'm Brad Reynolds from Santa Clarita, California. Lisa, Charlie Dillon from Chimicum, Washington. Russ Emler from Dayton, Ohio. Debbie Bruiser Hart from Paulsville, Washington. Hi, I'm Jason McMurray from Santa Clarita, California. My name is Lindsay Hobson. 
As the outlaws mount their horses, the trash talking begins. They hit them fast and hard. Fast and hard. They won't know what hit them. It's, it's on now. <laughs> you can almost smell the paint in the air. Each team is given a map with all the loot bag locations but one. The other team's map shows that missing location, so either you have to steal their map or the loot itself after they find it. And people will do anything to make sure they don't lose that map. <laughs> the outlaws are given a two-hour head start because they need it. And as they begin to saddle up, unbeknownst to each other, strikingly similar plans begin to take shape. Seems like my plan, uh, team's plan, is to head out towards uh, Ten Dead Canyon. Our plan today is to uh, go to Ten Dead Canyon. And I'm kind of suspecting probably the other teams thinking the same thing, so I kind of have a guess that we're going to have a little action out there this afternoon. And so let the games begin. When we return, yeah, things heat up yeah. when the outlaws booby trap the posse saddles intact. Can I get some a little mad? Let's put it that way. And I was just asked by one of my teammates if we're putting up with it, and no, we're, we're not. Uh, it's kind of throwing a little bit of gas on the fire. And it's the first battle of the week. They don't call it Ten Dead Canyon for nothing. They weren't very sneaky, so we set up an ambush, and they walked right into it. We killed four of them, the rest of them skedaddled. It's more from Posse Week when America's Horse returns.